of course, the league announcing they'll expand to 30 teams. But in this part of the world, we have J-League attracting stars such as Andres Iniesta, David Villa, Fernando Torres, and of course, here in Malaysia, the Liga Super, the top tier of this country's football, is in the early stages of its development in comparison. But that means that the journey ahead, especially in this region, is an exciting one. Plenty of opportunities to come, but admittedly plenty of challenges too. So strategically, how do the J-League and Liga Super Malaysia achieve their targets? This penultimate session then, the potential of Asian football leagues and challenges for its development. Please welcome the following on stage, your moderator, Jerome Perlemuter, who is General Secretary of World Leagues Forum, and your speakers, Kevin Ramalingham, Chief Executive Officer of Malaysian Football League, and Misru Mirai San, Chairman of J League. Please make them feel welcome. Jerome, over to you. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, distinguished guests, very happy to be here. Thank you very much to the World Football Summit Asia team for uh, pulling this out. Excellent event. Very, very happy to be here in Kuala Lumpur. So it's my pleasure uh, this afternoon to moderate uh, the, the session. And the topic we're going to discuss is the potential of uh, Asian football leagues <coughs> and the uh, challenges for their development. Um, I will present to you our very distinguished guest. Uh, I will be your moderator, and I will first introduce uh, myself uh, very quickly. I'm Jerome Perlumuter, and I am the uh, General Secretary of the World X Forum. For those of you who are not familiar with the World X Forum, it's the association, the body, uh, representing 40 professional football leagues from around the world, uh, with uh, two main purposes. The first one is uh, to defend professional football <coughs> interest to political and football bodies. Uh, as you know, the uh, football landscape is a highly regulated landscape, and this is the reason why the leagues felt the need to have a body to represent them at international level. We're based in Zurich with an office that was open in April uh, 2017. And the second purpose of the World Leagues Forum is to help uh, its members develop, uh, enhance their knowledge, share experiences and opportunities. And this is also the reason why I'm very happy to be here with uh, two distinguished members of the World X Forum. So we have Kevin uh, Ramalingam, who's the CEO of the Malaysian League. And uh, we have uh, Murai San, who's the chairman of uh, the J-League. And I would like to say a few words to introduce both of you, if you allow me. Uh, Murai San, you uh, became the chairman of the J-League in January 2014. Uh, and you were the first uh, chairman with a corporate management experience, which was very new for the, for the J-League. Before, you worked in the uh, human resources industry. Uh, and you've been very successful, and there's one thing that would like to uh, point out. You were the chairman of a recruit career from uh, uh, 2004 to 2011, and this company was nominated the best company for employers to work in Japan. And I think we should really uh, emphasize that. <coughs> Uh, from uh, 2018 to 2014, you oversaw the internationalization of recruit business across Asia. Uh, you developed a business in 26 uh, Asian cities with one uh, motto, bring Asian culture to the recruiting business. And at that time, you already had this vision of uh, internationalization. Uh, since you joined the J-League, uh, you made it one of the top leagues, not only in Asia, but in the world. Uh, so maybe you will tell us about your recipe to do that. Uh, Kevin, you have a full knowledge of the football industry. Uh, you were appointed the CEO of the Malaysian uh, Football League in 2015. Uh, at that time, it was called Football Malaysia Limited Liability Partnership. Uh, you were entrusted with the task of developing broadcast and commercial rights, also focused on internationalization. Uh, before joining the league, you worked as a consultant <coughs> with lots of success, uh, 2008 at uh, Bumibola, 
where you advise uh, Malaysian football clubs, uh, then a trade card consultant, where you assisted the Federation of Mal Malaysian Restructuring Football in Malaysia. You were the CEO of a club, Kelantan uh, FA, from uh, 2012 to 2014, helping to develop. So you did advising club, federation, now CEO of the league. So really, you have a vast experience in football. And you will tell us, hopefully, also about uh, your recipe. Uh, before uh, we go to the questions, I know you two prepared for the, for the audience uh, videos. So we'll start with uh, Morai-san. Maybe okay. you want to introduce a bit this, okay. this video. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Morai, chairman of JV. I'm honored and pleased to be here today. Uh, let me talk about J League briefly. The history of J League is not so long. Uh, we reached our 25 years anniversary last year. We have a total of 55 clubs. Top division J1 is 18, J2, J2 is 22, J3 is 15. The total revenue of J League, including clubs, is uh, 1 billion US dollars. And the total income of club is, uh, uh, sorry, league is uh, $216 US dollars. And uh, we signed uh, a big deal with Dazon. Dazon is a, a famous OTT service provider based in UK. And uh, we live broadcast uh, over 1,000 games a year. As a result, uh, JLIG is improving, and improving um, significantly. So uh, let me show you about the short video of JLIG. Thank you, thank you very much, Morai-san. Welcome. If you want to switch to Japanese, we have uh, Kei Kuyama with us Sorry. of the International <laughs> Department of the, of the J-League, so it's, re <laughs> it's really up to you. Uh, before we go to uh, your videos, I know you wanted to say a few words to, uh, to Kevin. Yeah. No? We no. switched to the video? Yeah. Yes. Please show me video. Yeah. Okay, yeah. you go. Um, compared to Japan, of course, uh, we're a baby. Well, football in this country has existed since uh, 1921. That's, that's a bit of history that Japan and Malaysia share, actually. Uh, we, we both jointly have the oldest competitions in Asia, uh, dating all the way back to 1921. Um, however, in, in terms of uh, professional, professionally managed league that's separate from the National Federation, we're only three plus years old. And, uh, but uh, we're making steps and strides in the right direction, and we hope that um, you know you can. The video sort of describes us. We're all about the people and the fans, and I think the video will say a little bit more. Um, maybe we can see the video. Thank you.
Thank you, thank you very much to you two for uh, to to kick the the the, the first question. Um, where I stand, the J League was established in uh, 1993. Um, what was the vision at that time, and what would you say were the key success factor to its development until now? I, あのまあちょっと今ビジョンのお話する前に少しあの我々のマレーシアに対する思い出だけを先にちょっとだけお話しさせてください。So please allow me to explain about the, our memory with between Japan and the Malaysia first. Is that okay? えっと、私が生まれたのは1959年で、生まれた年にムルデカカップというのに日本を初めて出場しました。I was born in 1959. In the year, Japan national team was first, for the first time invited to join the Muldeka Cup in Malaysia. その時に全く日本は勝てなくて、完全なお荷物と言われていました。もう要は日本を招待するのはやめようとマレーシアの中では言われたぐらい、全く勝てない国でした。At that time period, Japan national team Couldn't win, and、uh, Japan was really less competitive. So everybody say, you know, please don't stop inviting Japan. 1963年に初めて日本が優勝したときに、当時のマレーシアの首相が涙を流して動けなくなってしまったことがありました。Uh, in 1963,、um, when Japan won the second title、uh, for the first time in Muldeka Cup. At the time, the, the Prime Minister of Malaysia was crying in the ceremony of the competition. Because the Prime Minister is the one who believes Japan, and then he tried to keep inviting Japan to the Murudeka Cup, and then Japan did it. And then the following year, 1964, Japan moved to a quarter final in the Olympic, Tokyo Olympics. The, ma, Wari-Wari, Nihon, to the Malaysia, was there, could not, できない国なので a no, これからも共に発展していきたいと思っています Sorry, I'm 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 So, shall I go back to the first question? Yes. あの我々のそのベースとなるビジョンというのは、あのとにかくあのディスプリンを非常に大事にしながら、えー、もう世界のトップレベルのリーグになることです。まあ今我々は2030年までに、えー、世界のトップリーグの中のベスト4を目指そうというビジョンを今持っています。Uh, we have a kind of long-term Vision, which is the, by 2030,、um, we are trying to be the best four leagues in the world. このために重要なことは2つ今日お話しします。1つは、えー、クラブのマネジメントに関する厳しいあのライセンス基準を持っていることです。There are two main factors for that we are talking about today. The first one is the club management system. J リーグには55のクラブがありますが、えー、債務超過のクラブが一つもありません。So there are 55 clubs in the J League, but、uh, none of them have the、um, uh, excessive death depth.、えー、そして給料当然給料の未払いとか支配一切ありません。So、we never have delay in the payment of salary. そしてあの八百長が今まで25年間の間に一度も起こったことがない国でもあります。So、そして差別とか暴力が非常に少ない国だと思われています。こういう土台があのビジョン実現のためのまずファーストステップだと考えています。So kind of、それからもう二つ目の土台となるビジョン実現のためのベースとなるものは、えー、地域と密着する経営スタイルです。So the second the factor we are talking about is that、uh, the, the having the, all the clubs community oriented。チームは五十五のクラブは企業の名前を名乗ることができません。So、we, we are not allowing all the clubs to have the brand or company name in the team。
企業は短期的には大きな金をクラブにもたらしますが長期的にクラブは名前を変えたり M&A で合併したりその姿を変えていくからです。Um, the, the But、uh, the club has to have the long term vision, which never changed. The club, J League, the club, a o d o r o k b e k i k o t o n i i c h n e n k a n i s a m b a k k u j u k a i h o m e t o w n o g a k k o t a z n e t a r i b i h o m e t o w n o h o s p i t a l i t y s e r v i c e o s t a m u s i c h n e n k a n s a m b a k r o k u j u n i c h i k a n a i n o n i s a m b a k k u j u k a i m o m a c h o t a z n e t a i r u s e k a i n i m o r u i g a n a i k u r a b n a n o d e s l e a g u n a n o d e s So our clubs. Doing like a local oriented activity、uh, for more than 390 times a year, which is you know, more than one time a day. So, you know, going around the hospital or the, visiting the schools, this kind of you know, local oriented activity that we have. こうした日本の、えー、と特徴を生かしながら世界のトップレベルのリーグを目指したい。これが J リーグの大きなビジョンです。So, this is the kind of unique point that we have. So, Kind of, this is our strength, so we hope to be you know, the one of the best l e a g u e in the world. Thank you.、Uh, Kevin, to go to the Malaysian League, since you、uh, took over, you,、uh, the, the league has undergone、uh, incredible reforms. Maybe you should,、uh, you should talk to us about、uh, what you've been、uh, doing over the last years to make the, the, the Malaysian League、uh, more yeah. professional. Yeah,、um, well. Jerome, I didn't really take over. I, 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 I was the first. So,、uh, first CEO of the newly formed entity that is owned by all the clubs, the football clubs. You know? And、um, I think this scenario in Malaysia is a little bit of a culture shock. As I said, football in Malaysia has remained,、uh, uh, competition has remained since 1921. And for us, You know, in the, in the year 2015, to promote an idea that suddenly foot, the Football League belongs to the teams. You know, it's, it's a very foreign concept that、um, the challenges were trying to get people to realize that the structure of MFL is its strength, not necessarily just the amount of money it brings to the table or you know, financial success, but success. Uh, in the formation of MFL, is empowering the teams to, to, to have a say in、um, the direction of where we're going、uh, with the league instead of、um, one、uh, entity like the National Federation being the, 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 the moderator, as we call it.、Uh, now, now that, that acceptance, I think,、uh, and the challenges that we face in terms of uh, um, doing that is that we Historically in Malaysia, uh, uh, club football actually is very state based. So it's the state associations that are actually part of the, the, the league in terms of the, the clubs. Now, the state associations are embodied within the National Federation as affiliates. So I think right now, the, uh, the, uh, some of the major challenges that we have is that、um, a lot of people confuse the affiliation with. The running of their football team because it's the same entity that runs both. you know、um, And I think the challenges that we have moving forward is、uh, you know we've got to learn from Japan on how they grew you know from a small number of teams to now 55 teams and how to get support for each of these teams. And you know challenges for us moving forward are plenty. you know and、uh, But the goal is to empower professional football to be run. By a body that is specific to professional football and not necessarily、uh, entwined with uh, national uh, uh, goals in terms of the, the,、uh, the running of the, the, the whole football landscape in its entirety. And, and this reform that、uh, h a v e been made over the last years in terms of the governance of the structure, do you already see the positive results in terms of the income, of the、yeah. broadcast right, etc.? Yeah, we do. We, we, we do see. I mean,、um, you know, in the old days, you know, maybe putting two games on TV live per, per round was, was something acceptable. But uh, during uh, MFL's time, we have every single game live on,、uh, of our top league, at least live, you know. In,、um, and 
for us, those things are really crucial. So when we focus and we, we, we ensure that the decisions that are being made are based on the professional side, meaning the, 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 the club football side, uh, we, we, we make certain decisions uh, that are specific to professional football needs moving forward, not necessarily uh, um, looking at um, the entire spectrum of the landscape. You know, I don't envy uh, the Football Federation, FAM, for having to look at the entire landscape, but it's challenging enough in our little pocket of the professional side. Yeah. And looking into uh, the future, uh, Murai-san, uh, maybe you could uh, explain uh, to, to, to us uh, what's the vision for the future, the, the strategy for it now for the J League? Right. We believe that uh, the most important thing is the youth development. J League, so, um, in the past 25 years, the, it is mandatory for all the clubs to have their own academy, which is under 15 and under 18 category. In J1, there are two players homegrown players who have been in the club and have been in the club. So, we introduced homegrown players, Luz, which is the at least two players must be homegrown player in the squad. And uh, our League Cup matches, uh, it is mandatory for the older clubs to have under 21 player, at least one player. And in 2017, England won the Under-17 and Under-20 World Cup. The young Russia squad also supplied the world in the, in the previous World Cup. The Premier League and England have changed in the two key persons. So we invited two specialists in terms of youth development from the England, and then we're working together to how we can develop our youth development system in Japan. There is an idea that we distribute the money to the club based on the contribution for the youth development. There have been more and more Japanese players moving to Europe, so we must keep producing the young talents. Another important factor is the digital development. Um, we just stop, you know, the letting the all the 55 clubs, you know, the, the investing their own uh, each platform. Digital no shinzobu league ga kaihatsu shite, sube te no club ni sono network wo tosu, so yu system ga san nen kakete kansei shimashita. So the league, as a league level, we develop the common database or platform for all the clubs where we can uh, give access to all the clubs. So in the platform, we can sell the ticket, uh, it can be connected to the e-commerce, and we can distribute the useful information to the fans. So we have collected more than one million of the customers' fan data, which is just achieved for last one and a half year. So we have collected more than one million of the customers' fan data, which is just achieved for last one and a half year. 
配信がスタートしました And then we find a historical partnership with the zone. えっと、10年で2000億、えー、ぐらいの,あの放送権が話題になっているんですけれども大きなポイントは金額や期間じゃなくてすべての政策を J リーグが行っているということにポイントがあります。So the D was big, which is、uh, 2 billion US dollar for 10 years, but、uh, not only about、uh, the figure, but、uh, more importantly,、uh, We have, the, we have produced all the J League match feeds, means we control the, all the rights. Now, the network, we have been able to do the internet 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 to As we want. フットボールでは育成、ビジネスではデジタル、この2つが我々の大きな戦略となります。So again, in terms of the football, the youth development is the key, and in terms of business, the digital area development is our key strategy. Thank you. And we, the, the, what you're stressing on, I mean, youth development, we saw the, what the Japanese、uh, team did、uh, in the last World Cup, it was really impressive. My daughter, I told you, is a Japanese fan, was so depressed about how a Japanese team was,、uh, was kicked out. But、uh, it was an incredible performance.、Um, Kevin, in、yes. terms of the development, the next steps to, to take for, for you and for the Malaysian League, what would you、yeah. say? The, I think、uh, Murai san touched a little bit on the success of England、uh, in the youth tournaments,、uh, currently being. The 17 World Cup champions and on the 20 World Cup champions.、Um, that's a lot of Premier League money going down into the system for many years, and we see the results of that now.、Uh, Japan has just done a fantastic deal. Congratulations on the Dazone deal. It was fantastic for Japanese football. $2 billion over 10 years. You know, I mean, that's, a, that's a, a, a fantastic amount of money that once that kind of deal is done, then you can put Money back into the system and the system work and get the system slowly work for you. As far as the Malaysian League is concerned, our, our first baby steps are being taken towards、um, stabilizing that income. And in our landscape, we don't have enough、uh, broadcasters in the Malaysian market, for example, to compete against each other for rights. So, rights fees would never increase. Significantly, if we were just to rely completely on the traditional landscape in Malaysia. So, we've got to be a little bit more creative, and、uh, we see the, the, the product being more sustainable if we are more creative in the delivery of our, our product, our broadcast, down, right down to the people. You know? So,、um, in order for Malaysian football to be sustainable, It's got to be a product that we can deliver directly to the people of Malaysia and、uh, where the support for it and the, the substantial funding of it will come from the people rather than from、um, uh, organizations who, you know, at the end of the day, may, 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 may be forced to, to、uh, put a certain value on, on our league depending on. Their budgets and things like that. So, in order for us to grow, we've got to become a business to consumer organization rather than a business to business. And I understand you're already involved as a league in the, in the production of the matches. Yeah, so matches. In, in order for us to take steps in、right. that direction, we created a, a digital platform that now hosts all our live games. And、uh, we set up a, pro, a production company on our own. Uh, that we, of course, we outsource some of that services.、Uh, the production company out- outsources some services, but essentially, the, the, the management of all the production is done by the league now. In order for us to control the, the production of the product and for us to be able to put the product out there,、uh, for it to be、uh, consumed by, by the people. And、um, like I said, th- those were the very early steps.、Uh, the long run of it is that we must. Make it a business to consumer product because the way that it's been going for the, the many years、um, will not solve the problems of Malaysian football.
Uh, if we now move to uh, the potential of uh, Asian uh, football uh, in general, um, in general terms, how do you see the, the, the potential if we take uh, Asia globally, Morai-san? The first day is a huge uh, population in Asia. And then economy is growing so rapidly. So the football is the most uh, popular sport in Asia. For us, for Japan, you know, the, there is no time difference between the, among the Asian. まあ、あとは文化的にもとてもお互いあの親和性が高いこと。so we are close uh, between Asian countries in, in terms of culture and everything. So we are close between Asian countries in terms of culture and Kevin, I would like to ask the same question to you about uh, potential of Asian football in, in general. Well, I think uh, AFC have promoted for the longest time that the future is Asia. I mean, that, that's a caption that I've, I've seen uh, for a long time now. And I think a lot of the European uh, teams or European leagues as well see Asia as a major market for, for them. You know, uh, what is our ambitions is definitely for us to um, not just invite uh, um, sorry, European or, or, or leagues from other continents to, to come in and uh, monetize uh, through the promotions in Malaysia or in Asia in general, but Asian football should be taken to other continents as well, you know, and uh, in the long run, if we can invite um, um, ex more exciting players into our leagues, if we can market them together uh, and create excitement from Asia, I think the, the goals must be to, to be seen over on the other side of the world rather than us only watching them from this side of the world. And the uh, Morai San for, for the J League, uh, the, the Asian is also a, a market that you, you consider very much. Uh, you have a, also a strategy that you're, you're developing on uh, okay, making, uh, uh, the, the, using the, this market, this potential for J League? Potential potential あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
the fact that uh, a lot of the, the broadcasters in this part of the world would rather spend big money on uh, rights from European leagues rather than uh, on local football rights, which, you know, sometimes it's a bit perplexing, but um, that's the way it is. You know, the, they see it as a premium product, and, uh, and sometimes that uh, doesn't allow the local league or the local industry to grow because of the perception that big money must be spent on, on these foreign products. It's not the, not the fault of the foreign leagues. I mean, they, they, they're just uh, building themselves and marketing themselves. But uh, what we would wish for is for, for the Asian broadcasters in general to be uh, a bit more kind to the local products rather than you know, only paying attention to what purposely is a, a higher valued product. Um, that may be the case, but we all have a responsibility to build uh, the local products together. And um, without a doubt, in all of our countries, the local football league would be the, the biggest, uh, um, uh, would have the biggest viewership, would have the biggest uh, uh, attention. Uh, however, even if you report big numbers, even if you report higher uh, viewership numbers, uh, the big money seems to go to the, the, the leagues with lower viewership than us, which are, seem to be of greater value. Mm -hmm. I, that's a challenge. Yeah, I, can, I can confirm that in any market that I'm aware of and around the world, every time the biggest interest is for the domestic leagues, and I can also confirm that in many countries, these domestic leagues that have the, the best uh, uh, potential, they're fighting with their broadcasters who do not take the responsibility to, to help and to make, the, to make football grow. What, what's your experience on, on this uh, particular topic, uh, Morai-san? There's a time period when the people are more paying attention to the national team, but less attention to the league. But it's, it's been changed a lot. Now, you know, people are more uh, showing some interest in, in the domestic league. あの、え、彼もまあスター選手がいるようなチームでも簡単に日本では勝てない、え、そういうような実態が逆に今ヨーロッパにも伝わっていて、え、日本に注目が集まっていたりすることも寄与していると思います。あ、like uh, Andres Iniesta joined the Bissa Kobe. The Kobe even with the Iniesta such a superstar, they 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 cannot win easily in the league. So it shows the how competitive the league is, so it's gained more attraction from, from the rest of the world. Not only just Asian watching the European League, but also the you know, European or the people outside of Asia is paying attention to the Asian football. そういう意味では新しい選手の発掘とデジタル技術を活用することはアジア全体のこうフットボールの関心を高めていくために寄与できると思っています。In a way, it's very important for us to acquire such international players, at the same time develop into the, the digital area, so that we can distribute more contents to the rest of the world. And the, the, world, the, 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 the role of the league is also to, uh, to be an association of clubs, uh, to make uh, decisions, sometimes uh, difficult decisions, because both uh, leagues are uh, 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 an organizing body, but there's a, a body that regulates. Uh, cultural differences are always very interesting. How do you deal with this aspect of, of making decisions on your club and regulating your clubs? リーグとクラブの間に引けてるコンフリクトはあります。いつもそのコンフリクトの関係にありますね。あの、ただ、え、そのコンフリクトが成長を生んでいると今日本では思っています。Of course there is a some conflict between the league and the club, but that this is the something 
which help us grow to the next level. ダゾンはヨーロッパでは金曜日にフットボールをしたり月曜日にするのは当たり前だ日本は土曜日曜に週末にやるのが当たり前だこういう議論が激しいバトルが国内で展開されました、um, ダゾーンにはリーグが考えているイノベーションのプランは金曜日にやれば土曜日曜のプレーアナウンス効果があるはずだし土日に自分がサッカーをやっている人はきっと金曜日である来れるはずだという今までの常識を変えた考え方を提示しました。So the zone was proposing as a kind of new idea. Uh, to play on、uh, Friday night because the, most of the, the kids or whoever play football play on weekend. So they are not be able to watch the game on, on the weekend. So they propose as a kind of new idea to play on the weekdays. クラブ側からすれば平日金曜日の過去のデータは5000人少なくなるっていう事実があるじゃないかそんなことは受け入れられないよと言います。ヨーロッパと日本の違い、クラブとリーグの考え方の違い、こういうコンフリクトでいつもものすごい議論をして、イノベーションは起こっていくと考えています。They were off to the next level of discussion. Kevin? Say, yeah,、uh, I mean, I think I concur with、uh, Murai san. I mean,、uh, conflict is unavoidable.、Uh, and if the league leadership is、uh, afraid of conflict, then there can be no change and there can be no improvement. However, in, in most of our markets,、uh, uh, Can't avoid this conflict, you know, I mean, because uh, uh, any decision that you make is seen to be, you know, favoring someone and not favoring another, or, you know, things like that. You know, some people will like it, some people won't.、Um, however, we've got to be brave enough to make those decisions and, you know, even sanction teams if we, if, if we have to, if they, if, if they don't follow, you know, the, the plan or follow the direction. Um, I mean, famously, famously, right now, I mean, you know,、uh, people are calling for uh, uh, changes in the CEO. If you, if, you, if, you, if, if you produce a sanction against someone, you know, you must be not doing your job. You know? Unfortunately, the, the, just like、uh, Murai san, who, who daily runs the J League on a daily basis,、uh, uh, I'm there. You know, on a daily basis, trying to do the same job in,、uh, in, in Malaysia. And、uh, what, we, what we experience is、uh, I don't envy Murai san because the difficult, the difficult things is, is necessary and we have to do it in order for us to improve. It will be very easy for, for the J League to just tell the zone no, Friday no, you know. But in order for you to improve, you know you have to tackle that problem as a. As a Uh, you know, and you have to have that difficult meetings with, with the teams and you have to make those difficult decisions.、Uh, if you don't change, we would never, we would never progress. So we have uh, one, uh, one minute、uh, left. I would like to, to conclude maybe with my, one、uh, personal question.、Uh, what brought you to football? Maybe from being a football fan to a, a, a football、uh, leader? And、uh, has your vision of football changed, Kevin? Well,、um, I'll tell you a story about Murai san.、Uh, Murai san was in the stands in, in Johor as a fan、uh, when the, J League,、uh, sorry, the Japanese national team、uh, won qualification to the World Cup for, for the first time. He was a fan, you know, first. And then he's now the, the,、um, the chairman of the J League.、Um, 
I too was in the stands many times in my life, and I still make it a point to sit in the stands and 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 and, uh, and watch football. I think it's very important that we do not lose touch of that because once we start losing touch of that, I think we we lose ourselves. Uh, but football is like being in love with this really really unfaithful woman. You know, she hurts you. She she really you know she would drag you through the mud she would king destroy you but you're back there you're back again every day uh because you love it and if you don't if you don't love it it will break you completely <laughs> thank you <laughs> well, i said you once said something i, I was in, in your whole verse 1997 eh? yes 1997 <laughs> I was jumping, you know, to behind the goal at the time. あの選手のセカンドキャリアをサポートする。私はリクルーターのような仕事をしてましたので、選手のセカンドキャリアのサポートをしているうちに J リーグのボードメンバーになりました。Because I used to work for recruit recruitment company, I was supporting the second career for the players. その気がついたら、お前がやれっていうことになって、チェアマンになってしまいました。And then one day I was appointed as a chairman, and I didn't know what to do at that time. Well, thank you very much. Congratulations for, for the great job you're doing as、uh, two great leaders in,、uh, in Asian football. Thank you very much. Thank you.、Uh, I was really happy to, to be in this session, to moderate this session with you two, and、uh, thank you to, to you all. Thank you, Martin. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent stuff, gentlemen. Jerome, thank you very much indeed. Much appreciated. Thank you, Kevin.